What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I want you guys to click the link to my last video if you haven't already seen it. And that is a video where I did two workouts every single day for 75 days. I absolutely loved my results. So I give a, a review on that challenge, so click the link. Now, in this video, we're going over my top five ways to make your workouts just that little bit more better. Let's go. So, tip number one is something that most people don't realize, but if you wanna make your workouts just that much more better, you gotta rest, all right? It's the honest truth. You cannot perform at a sufficient level if you're not giving your joints, your ligaments, your bones, your mind, and just your primary and secondary muscle groups a rest, right? Think about it this way. <clears throat> most of us have cars, most of us are privileged and um, you know have the luxury of having a car. But when we take our car home, we don't just leave it running in the driveway. We switch it off. You know, we go inside, we do what we gotta do. The next day or that same day, we get back in our car, we start that car and we, keep, we get going. So it makes no sense for your body to just be go, 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 go. You need to rest so you can come back stronger. Number two, we got plan your workout. Think about it. If there's no plan, that means there's no purpose. If there's no purpose, then there's no point. You have to plan your workouts. Now what happens is, um, and this is very normal, for people in the beginning of their fitness journey, what happens is they just go to the gym. And that in, its, that in itself is a big win. But as time goes by, doing random things, you know, sitting on your phone while you're on a machine and just doing random muscle groups won't work. You're gonna plateau, it's inevitable, right? So what I tend to do is on a Sunday, I plan out my whole week, or I'll plan out two to three weeks, depending on the phase of training I'm in. But just, even if you go to the extent of just planning that one day, so then before you get to the gym, or before you even start your workout, you know exactly what you're gonna do. Not only are you saving time, but you're putting more time under tension on your body, therefore resulting in better results, okay? So number three, we got get yourself a workout partner. Now believe it or not, as much as we love working out by ourselves, as much as we love the, you know, putting on the headphones and just getting away from the world, getting away from our problems and just kind of zoning out, sometimes we need help. Sometimes we need to get a workout partner. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say every single workout of yours needs to be with somebody. No, I'm just saying if you feel like you're at a point where you're just doing the same thing and you're just greasing the groove and you're just going on the hamster wheel and you're not getting any results, I personally would advise that, you know, get, get your sibling involved, get your partner involved. Maybe, you know, have the courage to ask a friend or even at the gym, if you have a gym friend, don't be afraid to just approach them and say, hey, would you, would you be okay if I joined in on this workout? I need a little bit of help. I need a little bit of a motivation. Worst thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna say no, and it's not the end of the world, right? But having that workout partner, not only will it teach you to move your body in different ways, get yourself out your comfort zone, they might be there to you know, encourage you to go heavier or to increase your range of motion or even just do another set. And that in itself will make your workout a little bit more efficient um, or just push you outside your comfort zone, which again, will result in you becoming better and getting more results. Now, number four is something a lot of people don't talk about and uh, it could be something that you know most people don't even know about and that is auditing the time that you're working out. Now, let me give you, you know, some context before I go explain it a little bit further. You know, somebody said to me, oh, I was at the gym, you know, for two hours, but I asked them, how long were you working out though? And they looked at me a little bit confused. So being at the gym doesn't mean your body is under that same amount of time under tension. Okay, you could be at the gym for three hours, but really and truly your body was only going through, you know, exercise for 20 minutes. You know, so that's why I always say 80% of the time of your workout should be you actually working out. So what I mean by auditing the time that you're working out is maybe set yourself you know, a time cap of how much you're gonna be in the gym. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna start not rushing, but you're gonna start taking a lot less breaks. You'll be a little bit more mindful, you know, pulling your phone out or just sitting there. You're gonna be a lot more, you know, there's gonna be a lot more emphasis of you doing another set and getting back at it, all right? Because let's just say you walk in, you're at the gym for 60 minutes, but you actually worked out for 50 minutes. 
Therefore, you're a lot more efficient than being at the gym for two hours, but only having the 30 minute time of detention cap on your body. All right, so just think about that for a second. Look at how much time you are in the gym and figure out how much time you're actually working out. Now, a few ways to, you know, increase the efficiency when it comes to this number is I personally like to set timer, set a timer on, you know, when, it, when, when I've done a set, I'll have a 30 second break and it holds me accountable, forces me to get right back at it. You know, one minute in between exercises, 30 seconds in between sets. Um, and that way, you know, you'll, you'll realize that a 20 minute workout where you're actually working out for 20 minutes is way more efficient than being at the gym for two to three hours. Okay, so I hope this number really gets in your head and you start realizing how much time we actually waste at the gym. As much as we love the gym, as much as we love working out, we do um, unfortunately spend way too much time uh, wasted not doing anything in the building. Now number five, it's a number that most people won't like or won't be able to do. Now, I have it listed as put your phone away. Okay, but now it's very easy for me to say that, but most of us need our phones with us due to music or you know to even just um, to answer certain messages. So what you could do is put your phone on do not disturb. That way it's not constantly, you're not constantly getting distraction, distracted by this light blinging or this vibration in your pocket. Believe it or not, number four is heavily linked with number five. The reason we spend way too much time in the gym with our bodies not under tension is because we're distracted. All right, and for me, the main distraction is that little device in our pockets. All right, so what you could do is set a playlist, um, put your phone on do not disturb, and keep that phone in your bag, but your bag is still with you. That way you're not constantly checking it, right? And the music's still there. If you have wireless headphones, it's still there. It's not, you know, messing with you. If you do, if you have, you know, for some people, they don't even want to listen to music. So put your phone, leave your phone in your car, leave your phone in the locker, whatever it may be. Um, again, this is a very difficult one, but and not every workout needs to be like that. If you going into a workout with very, very little time on your hands, maybe for that workout, put your phone away. And that way, now you're linked to number three, you know, sorry, number four, where you're auditing that workout in terms of the time and attention. So number five, like I said, is a tough one, but it's not impossible. So start off by, you know, just be mindful of, of when you pull your phone out, how often you pull your phone out and why you pull your phone out. All right. And then you can start being like, you know what? I don't need to be on it right this second. I'd rather do this set. And again, that will make your workout that much more efficient. So there you have it. My top five ways to make your workout just that much better. And I'm going to list them out. Rest, plan the workout, get a workout partner, audit the time that you're actually working out and put your phone away. Until next time, peace.